Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this eye makeup look. It is a cut crease look with some glitter in it. This one is super simple, definitely for beginners. So we're gonna zoom on in and I'll show you. All right guys, so as you can tell, I've already done my eyebrows and I did carve them out with some concealer. I did go ahead and put on a um, eyelid primer. I put on my e.l.f. eyelid primer. And I'm gonna go in with just an all over shadow just to set that primer. Okay, and now the first shade I'm gonna take on an angled brush. I'm just gonna take a deep brown shade from my Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm just gonna basically outline my crease. And it's okay if it's messy right now. That's what we're gonna clean up later. I'm gonna take that a little bit down. And I'm gonna kinda make a wing out of it basically. So next, I'm just going to take a pencil brush and just blend that in a bit. And I'm gonna take just a little more brown. Now I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and with no product on it and just blend it up a little bit. And now I'm going to take a lighter brown, it's called Warm Taupe from that same palette and now I'm going to blend it out a little more. The trick to this look is really to blend, blend, blend as much as you can. And if it's not as deep as you want, that's okay. Just go back in with your pencil brush and add a little more brown. You could do this with black if you wanted to. I'm just making it a little more natural look and just sticking with that dark brown. I'm just going in windshield wiper motions back and forth, back and forth to blend it out. Now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and that warm taupe shade, blend it out again. This time I'm going to blend up a little bit. And somehow I always get lines right here, but they end up being able to blend out in the end. But And now I'm going to take that same angled brush with that dark brown and I'm going to put a little bit underneath my lash line just to blend that in. So I'm taking just a flat brush with some concealer. And so I'm just going to make a sharp line. So see where this white area is where I didn't put any? I am going to start right on the inner corner. So when I look straight, you see where my eye creases? That's where I'm going to put the concealer. And at first you can start off small. I'm kind of making a half moon shape from the inner corner to the outer corner. 
Let's see, so that's not big enough. So I'm gonna keep going. And that's about where I want it. I'm gonna blend out that concealer a bit with my finger. So I don't really like how I, I went too far out with this and it doesn't match up with my lash line. So I'm going to go back in with that brown and we're going to trace the outside of the concealer. Perfect, that's what I wanted to do. So it's okay if you went a little too far up with the concealer, we're just going to go back over it with this angled brush. I'm going to go back in with a fluffy brush and kind of blend this top area where I added some more shadow, just very lightly, making sure to not get in that concealer, because we're going to set that in a little bit. So I'm going to take a flat shader brush, and I'm going to go into that same color that I set the whole eyelid with, and we're just going to pack it on to the concealer so it's no longer sticky. And now if you went a little too far up with that shade, you can go back in with your angled brush and some brown. And carve it out again. So now, we're going to go in with an inner corner shade, and I'm just going to take Vermeer, it's like a shimmery champagne shade, and put it right in my inner corner, underneath a little bit, a little bit in. If you wanted to, you could go, actually I think I am, I'm going to go on the whole lid with Vermeer, because I want it to be a little more sparkly. Than it is right now. Give it a little shimmer. I'm going to trace the line with this glitter eyeliner and get in focus. 